Okay, this is a very short tutorial on the uh, undo and the redo and the repeat functions to make your modeling quicker. So this is similar to the arch tutorial that I just did a minute ago, but if I'm just going to control Z this here, oops, like this, to go back to where I was like this. So all I was doing, I was rotating around this pivot point here. I have my curse, my pivot point set to the 3D cursor and it's going to rotate around this one I extrude. So I'm just going to type, in this case, E to extrude R, Y, and then 1, 5. Oops, hang on, what I do? Nope, my cursor, I gotta move my cursor to there. Make sure my pivot point is on the 3D cursor. Yeah, okay, let's do it again. E, R, Y, 1, 5. So, E, R, Y, negative 1, 5. Okay, that's what I wanted. So, once I've done it, then I can do it again, right? Well, you can do it again just by pressing the F3 button and it brings up a history. So there it is right there, extrude region and move. So I just, that's the last one at the top. So I'll left click that one. And then I can just continue doing F3, click, F3, click, F3, click. Like this, whoops, that goofed that one up so I can do control Z. But then if I want to go forward again, I can go back like this, but to go forward, just control shift Z. Like that, so control Z, to, control shift Z goes forward in time. And then F3, well, F3 won't do anything there because that was my last movement was a uh, undo, redo type of movement. And that's kind of like the one thing I've known for years working with computers. Like if you're working in a word processor where you change or just some application where you're jumping between fields with the tab key, I knew a lot of people over the years didn't know you could use shift tab and you can go up in the fields as well. So you might try that sometime as well. Okay, told you a short lesson. That's it for now. I'll see you in the next lesson.